My purpose within this channel is to bridge the gap between knowledge and understanding of coily, kinky, and textured hair. And I think that is important to educate and to have an understanding on what products do and how to push those boundaries and create different options for yourself. My key goal in making sure people understand that it's not that hard, it can be done easily, and you just have to kind of incorporate it into your schedule and maintaining health to the hair. Hi, Koki. How are you? Hi, I'm doing cool. great. Thank you so much for coming in to see me today. Thank I'm you for so having excited. me. I'm so excited to play in your hair today. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's talk a little bit about your journey with your hair, like what you've gone through, how you started, uh, where you're at now, and like what's going on? Talk to me. When I was younger, my hair was a lot lighter, and I would say my texture was pretty tight. Mm -hmm. But I went through a phase in middle school where I hated my natural hair, mm -hmm. and I abused it with a flat iron. So I discovered natural hair care YouTube mm -hmm. when I was in eighth grade. Okay. And I got more inspired to appreciate my hair and mm -hmm. that's where I started to learn about natural hairstyles and natural products. So right now I feel like my hair is pretty restored but I do struggle with dryness and tangles. Okay. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to help you like really like give you that research of moisture and how to kind of get that texture going with out as much frizz and without as much tangle. Each curl texture is so different. Um, even within one head, you have so many different textures going on. So you have to operate on a, a playing field of n not using one product for every every part of the head, not right. using one technique for every part of the head. So the hair would need different things. My goal is to train your eye and train your your thought process so mm -hmm. that you can think a little bit more intuitively. So it's not really about the product. Right. Um, the product is an additive, but having a knowledge on what to do is really what is important. Does that make sense? Definitely. Yeah. What about like you, your transitional seasons, like going into winter and to summer? Is there anything you do in specific to help aid that transition? Honestly, that's where I struggle. Okay. I don't really know. The seasons are what you should be focusing on, and those should di dictate what is needed at the moment. Mm -hmm. So look at what your skin is doing. You know, that's your scalp is align with that in some ways. You talk a little bit about having dry scalp. So that that's important. You know, you gotta really have a healthy scalp to ensure healthy hair. I would suggest extreme exfoliation. Like really get in there and exfoliate that debris up because it's like dry skin. If you don't exfoliate your skin, it's just gonna keep peeling or keep cracking. And exfoliation can be something as simple as a, a, a small tooth comb, just like raking up that build up or raking up those flakes yeah. um, while you're shampooing and while you're in there, like, or a scalp scrubber I recently, for the shower. I recently bought like a really long pick mm. and it's like like metal. Yep. And I've been using that to kind exfoliate. of exfoliate mm -hmm. and it's really, a really good scratch. So you're doing like <laughs> one of these situations. like Oh yeah, it feels exfoli great. <laughs> exactly. This is important. I mean like pre-shower, pre-shampoo, this should always be you know, someone with textured hair, someone with afro hair or curly mm -hmm. hair, you don't get down to your scalp that often. So right. it's important to do those things to ensure that you're actually getting the buildup off. That makes sense. So what I'm going to do is start off by sectioning things off. I want to section it off into four sections because I feel like people get overwhelmed. Oh, and yeah. when I'm you see the... all this hair and it's out and you're like, uh, what do I do? Um, I think it's important to just kind of like take a deep breath, section things off, and then just deal with each section at a time. Right. Yeah. So I'm, I'm going to give you a rough breakdown on a way to refresh this. Say you woke up and you're like, oh my God, like, I don't have time to do a full shower, detangle. How do I get through my hair productively mm -hmm. and know that I'm going to have a finished style by the end of it? Right. So this is a great way to do that. So what I'm going to do is start with horizontal sections from ear to ear and just clipping things away that I'm not using. Mm -hmm. Even if that, that means you need a bigger clip, I like to kind of do multiple clips throughout the head because it, it allows more flexibility. And you are color treated, which mm -hmm. you stated. I'm gonna use the Revamp Moisture Spray for color treated hair by Brandon Francois, which I love because I feel like people always kind of act confused about water-based products and how to use them and how to refresh the hair properly. But I'm gonna show you exactly what that, that means and what that looks like. So I'm gonna miss that entire section and just use my hands to ribbon out some of those tangles. So I'm, I'm not trying to run my fingers through it. I'm not trying to detangle it with a comb or force 
force any major products on it just yet. I'm just using this water as like, you know, a micellar water to kind of help purify and put that base of moisture down on the hair before I start applying product or trying to detangle. So we're not breaking out anything or making more frizz, but I'm organizing the hair in a sense. I'm getting rid of some of that frizz as I'm working my way down. And as you can see, I'm, I'm using my product as an additive, but I'm also working my, my hands as a tool. Right. So it's not always about like how much product can I put on. You have to know how to manipulate the hair as well. Yeah, I definitely feel like sometimes I over apply product. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if you can see, I've like halfway gotten through the tangles. Wow. Um, and then now I'm just going to go in and separate things out. So I'm using my fingers and my hands. I'm not having pulled out a comb. It's all about manipulating that hair and ribboning it and twirling it to kind of get it to encourage itself back into curling. Mm. But this is how you organize your hair when you, you know, don't have a million products. Like I'm just using one thing. One of my friends used this term. He said the, the hair strands need to find its neighbor. Mm. So imagine if the root of the hair is right here next to it, but that end is all the way over here. So it just needs to find its neighbor. So that's why I'm ribboning the hair flatly. Also with color treated hair, you have to be forceful with the way that you apply that moisture. It's not necessarily about how much product you can apply on, but how much product you can actually force into the hair. And it's about taking time. I mean, you can do this and watch a TV show. You know what I mean? Just yeah. take that time, that, that solid 20 minutes to really just like take care of your hair and like love on it. Think of your hair as an ha a habitat. You just kind of like monitor it. Right. Monitor it and see what it needs at the moment. Yeah. There's such a huge um, concept around what's edgy for natural hair or what's polished for natural hair. So, I mean, we have to set that tone. Right. For straight hair or hair that doesn't have as much texture, you know, bed hair became a look. So, with texture hair, why can't that be the same understanding? Mm -hmm. And I'm really being deliberate about you know, using the flats of my thumbs and like flattening that hair out because that, that essentially organizes that hair out. Now we've lost a lot of those tangles by simply just organizing it and ribboning the hair. It's all about the, the base of the, the root finding its neighbor. Yeah. None that we at the front, I feel like you're a it's a little drier. Mm -hmm. And mostly around the face, sometimes it is a little drier. Um, I'm gonna take a product, this Kinky Curly Seriously Smooth Swift Set. I really, really like this product because I'm, I'm all about being efficient. And I'm all about drying the hair properly and also placing the product where it needs to go. You now using it a little bit at the base, using it a little bit at the end. And this is very detailed, but like I said, I'm wrapping your hair in that moisture. I'm really being deliberate about the way that I'm putting that product in. I really love this quick setting cream because I feel like I'm always in a bond and people are always like, how do I get my hair to like set super quick? And I'm like, uh, you need something that's lightweight enough, but still gonna give you that control. This is that product. Like, wow. yeah, it's, it's not that deep. People get so overwhelmed. It's like, just organize the hair mm -hmm. and everything will just fall into place. And I feel like we've zoomed by this, mm -hmm. like, you know. Cause you no, know I mean, and painless. Like it, it's not this painful, agonizing, detangled process. Yeah. It's like anything. The more you put into it, the better it will be. So now that we've put all our product in, we've hydrated and sealed in all that product. So we're gonna now go into diffusing. What's important about diffusing is it sets the tone for the entire style. So this is where you decide. Like, do you want volume? Do you not want volume? Do you want your part here? Do you want your part? Do you want no part? So I think that at this point is when you decide that. Mm -hmm. um, visually, I think that we discussed a little bit about obtaining volume and making things a little bit bigger. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna diffuse you with that in mind. Okay. So awesome. be deliberate about that. Let's come on over. Some diffusing done. Um, what's really important about this is just like to feel that freedom within standing because you'll be most likely doing this in your bathroom by yourself um, and you'll need to feel comfortable. So your first step will be having all of your hair over to the right, mm -hmm. and you'll simply diffuse, like, cupping in this manner. And then you're gonna flip everything over to the left side, you're gonna be cupping in this manner. And then you're gonna flip everything forward, and you're gonna be cupping in this manner. So, um, let's just start over to the right, and I'm gonna diffuse for you, just so you can get an understanding. But go ahead and toss everything over. Oh, okay. Like, just toss it over, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so simply going in and being very delicate. I'm not touching it, I'm not fussing with it too much. I'm gonna have you flip over to the other side. 
And I'm gonna let you do some diffuser. Perfect. And also using your other hand to lift oh. that up. Is this your first experience with diffusing? Yeah. Okay. I normally air dry. Mm -hmm. But diffusing is what's gonna set the tone for more volume. Yeah. Okay, and I think we can now move on to flipping it forward. Okay. Yep. So right now, I'm starting to see the results of leaving the roots a little bit more organic because now it's starting to project volume for us. Yeah. So now at this point, I'm gonna take the diffuser off. I'm gonna give you a nice gentle blow to kind of like break up any of that stiffness or forced feelingness. Mm -hmm. Now, I also kind of go between no diffuser and diffuser as it gets drier. Just to make sure I'm, I'm maintaining consistency without making too much more frizz. And keeping your head forward like this will give you maximum volume. Oh. Because if it's drying at 100 degrees off your head, 180 degrees off your head, once you sit your head up straight, it's going to still sit up. Yay. Use your hands since you're a little cooler than me and feel your hair and tell me how much moisture you feel in it. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. I can literally feel the moisture. Right. <laughs> you wow. can feel how hydrated it is, right? That's crazy. Mm -hmm. I've never felt this before. Right. <laughs> like after drying, mm -hmm. that's crazy. So now we're at this point, I'm gonna take just a little bit of Pure Fro Serum mm. by Vernon Francois. I love, love, love this because it just really seals that hair in. If there's any frizzy bits, if there's any dry bits, it just kind of picks it up for me. And I just put a little bit on the back of my hand and on the tips of my fingers. And I'm just taking the curls and splitting them about four ways. You know, you can do more. You can not split them and tomorrow split them. Mm -hmm. But the less you separate, the more longevity you would get from the set. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm already seeing the difference mm -hmm. in like... Um, the shape and yeah, the movement of it. I love it. it. Mm -hmm. Wow. You know, you can still navigate both. You can take this opportunity Ooh. to do another look. Like an updo. Yeah, and have a little curly friend. So, I mean, you have options, and I, I don't want you to feel like you don't. And I don't want you to feel like, you know, it, it does get hard in the natural hair journey, but remember that it will always get better because you'll always learn something new along yeah. the way. I just split it once. Mm -hmm. Here's number two. Mm -hmm. Should I go more? Yeah. If yeah. you feel like you want more fullness, split up more. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow, this is kind of fun. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so I like a little bit of shine at mm -hmm. this point. Yeah, I agree. I'm going a little bit with the Shine Spray by Kevin Murphy. And I love this because it has like flakes of glitter in it and it just really like sparkles through. It has such little luster to it, natural hair and curly hair. It doesn't reflect light, so I just like anything that has any flakes of glitter or shimmer in it. It's amazing. And then to finish that off, I'm going to go in with a product called Bedroom Hair by Kevin Murphy, which I love. And I'm going to spray this at the roots to help make sure we, we stay uplifted. You know, and it just really helps create that, that texture at the root and the base of the hair. But I think that that's so chic. I mean, with the earring situation, you can do so many different things with this. Such a good foundation for so many styles for days and days. So don't feel limited even after this is done. I just want to say thank you so much. I think this looks awesome. I like love I think it. this is it's pretty awesome. Like thank pretty you. pretty huge transition from the beginning, right? Yeah.